Hi, Jared here for RHF Accountants. Welcome to the fifth and final video on the bookkeeping tips series. This one, we will be looking at understanding your data. What do the numbers mean? And how can you use them to make your business grow and become more profitable? Hope you enjoy. Are you handling your company's data entry tasks? Maybe you have a full-time bookkeeper or a controller. Either way, if you can't interpret the data that's being presented, what good is it to you in making important business decisions? For most small businesses, there are three key statements to have a look at. Cash flow, income statement, and balance sheet. All three provide vital information about the health of your business and every business owner should be familiar with them. First up, cash flow. We've mentioned numerous times before that a profitable business can get itself in trouble if it doesn't constantly monitor its cash flow. Simply put, the cash flow statement shows how a company has raised money and how it spent it during a specific period of time. Typically split into three parts, the cash flow statement consists of operations, investing, and financing operations shows how cash was generated from the business's core transactions and is a good indicator of your ability to pay monthly bills investing shows your business's investment in new equipment or other financial instruments or alternatively the amounts received from the sale of the same items financing typically this consists of changes to debt financing but would also include issuance of shares if your business is incorporated. Income statement. Used as a tool to measure a company's performance. Items such as profit margin and operating income are easy to find or calculate and can be compared to historical data. Additionally, operating profit margin could be calculated to provide further analysis, including operational efficiency, customer profitability, and others. Last up, we have the balance sheet. If your company has been operational for more than a year, the balance sheet will typically provide at least one other year of data, which can then be used for analysis on a multi-year basis. There are also numerous ratios that can be calculated from the balance sheet as well. First up is the quick ratio. This is represented by current assets, less inventory, divided by current liabilities. This shows whether you have too much invested in inventory or maybe you have short-term debt that is too high for your business's needs. Next ratio is the current ratio. This is determined by calculating current assets by current liabilities. This number should typically be over one and shows your ability to pay liabilities, which are due within a year. Lastly, the debt to equity ratio, simply put, can be calculated by dividing total debt by total equity. This ratio indicates the level of risk your company presents to a potential lender. If you are highly leveraged, lenders may not be willing to offer more financing or may not be willing to provide very favorable terms to your business. So, what does it all mean? Regardless of who is managing the data entry tasks for your business, you need to determine which financial metrics are important to your growth. Figure out the relationships between revenue and expenses and monitor them on an ongoing basis. Determine where your cash is going and make sure you are operating as efficiently as possible. Looking for financing? Make sure you monitor your debt to equity ratio and present a strong set of financials to a potential lender to ensure you secure the best rates and terms possible. As a small business owner, it's important to monitor and understand your business financials. Having a good grasp of these concepts will help you maximize your strengths and to weed out any weaknesses that you might have. 
We sincerely hope that you enjoyed the bookkeeping tip series. Check back soon, likely into May once tax season wraps up for a series of new videos. As always, we thank you for the support and talk soon.